Here are the top five healthy deals for New Jersey for February 17th, 2019. Well, it depends on what your idea of healthy is, of course. Okay, the first thing that, that's bugging us uh, lately is that uh, we have this title called Top 5 Deals and Top 5 Supermarket Deals or New Jersey Deals. Uh, but the problem is we can't uh, promote uh, sugar, really. Um, anything that raises your blood sugar, carbs and sugar, and, and, and most people that might stumble on this channel might um, be looking for good deals for junk. You know, oh, I want the best deals for Doritos. I want the best deal for... Uh, just uh, pizza and all this other stuff. And they're gonna read, they see my video and go, what, what's this guy talking about meat and bacon and eggs uh, and cheese? And they're gonna like, no way, I'm not, this isn't healthy or this is, these aren't good deals for us or my family. Um, so I'm probably gonna have to go more uh, niche oriented on this. Uh, probably uh, I'll, I'll na rename the channel to something like low, low carb or carnivore. Um, this way my, my content matches the uh, title a little bit better. I'm going to turn this light on real quick. That said, uh, I'm, I'm not sure when I'm going to uh, get around to uh, changing the title. Maybe next week or the week after. But anyway, let's get on to the deals this week. Every week I like to promote Kings just because I feel like maybe they deserve a little bit of love. And I always find one or two things that are an actual good deal. Usually either the same or better than uh, the supermarkets. And this week I'm like, wow, I thought I found uh, some eggs, two, uh, two for seven, organic, that's not bad, 350 a dozen, wait a minute, it's only six eggs. So it comes out to $7 a dozen on sale. <coughs> nope, not, not, gonna, not gonna do it. The best bet for eggs if you live in the western half of New Jersey is find a local egg farmer, they're always organic, they're not, uh, Usually, day or two old eggs, fresh from the farm. Usually, again, between two and four dollars a dozen. Fantastic. Anyway, this is the first week we're including Lidl in our uh, in our lineup here because they have 85% lean organic ground beef. On normally, it's 550 a pound, which isn't bad for for organic, but it's buy one, get one free this week, and maybe that'll be uh, reason enough for us to visit for the first time. We still haven't had a chance to get out to Lidl, uh, but uh, 275 a pound for organic uh, ground beef is phenomenal, and uh, whether it's good or not, it remains to be seen. So, this week we have uh, at ShopRite, um, they don't really have any good meats on sale, um, we don't buy the roasts and stuff because we can never really cook them. So I, I can't really promote it until I become an expert at cooking it. But they got some good dairy products uh, this week on sale. Uh, and two of the three have digital coupons. So you have to be a ShopRite member, uh, Price Plus Club member. They have a Cracker Barrel uh, cheese slice. It's only seven ounces. Everything used to be half a pound. Now they like trim off. It's seven ounces, but it's a buck forty-nine a pack with your digital coupon, which is a very good deal. And it's it's good cheese, you know, it's not the best, but it certainly is reliable. And they also have the Axelrod sour cream, and with some people in our family swear on uh, organic. I can't, you can't tell the difference. But it's uh, a big uh, jug is uh, 99 cents with the uh, digital coupon, and I think that's a, a good deal. And lastly, uh, this week's mozzarella of the week is uh, Biazzo. Uh, you get a a uh, big block of that good uh, melting mutz for $2.99 a pound. So it's all about the dairy. And sorry, lactose intolerance people, it's not your week. And lastly, I, uh, I like to try and I look at Stop and Shop every single week um, just because. I and mean, even though I don't like the, the Stop and Shops around our area here in New Jersey, I think I mentioned in the past that the stop and shops uh, in the Northeast, like Massachusetts, were actually uh, further Northeast, were, uh, were fantastic compared to the ones down here. I guess the district managers are uh, doing a better job up there. But uh, we couldn't find anything worth mentioning. However, if you look in their flyer this week, they actually have two good low carb recipes. One with some sort of buffalo chicken dip, and this is uh, some cauliflower dip, which is like cream cheese and 
and, and cauliflower, it's, it's, uh, it looks like a fun, uh, fun thing to make. You could probably just eat it on its own, uh, but you know, most people are going to end up ruining the low carb aspect of it by dipping chips and pita and bread into it. But uh, take a look at their recipe. Sometimes you find little helpful uh, tips, uh, even for the seasoned cook. Like, hey, I haven't made uh, cauliflower this or that in a while. And that's it. Here comes our tip of the week next. Here's the uh, tip of the week this week, and this is about K-Cups. Those uh, coffee machines where you stick the little coffee uh, pod in and it makes your coffee and you throw that plastic out. Yeah, so much for the environment. I don't care if it's recycled or not. It's still plastic. Um, I highly recommend everybody just throw those machines out. They were designed to get people to buy these pods over and over and over and over again. They're ridiculously expensive. Um, even on sale, these things are like 30 or 40 cents a cup. Um, and when they're not on sale, they're like 70 or 80 cents a, a cup of coffee. Now, mind you, it's a lot cheaper than going to Dunkin' Donuts or, or uh, Starbucks or any one of those high-end coffee places that try to, to emotionally sway you into um, buying uh, these uh, Guatemalan beans or something uh, free range or whatever, sustainable, uh, eco, this or that. God, it's just coffee. It, it should be like half a cent a cup, really. Um, but the K-Cups, they're ridiculous. The amount of waste and the amount of space you need to make coffee just to have the convenience of a 30 second or a minute cup of coffee. I, I guess people are in a hurry these days and they, and they can't... Uh, they can't uh, be bothered with making a pot of coffee. And it's a big mess, those coffee grinds. However, I like instant coffee. Instant coffee, once you get used to it, it tastes, it's coffee, it's your morning coffee. It does the job. I, I'm drinking some right now. I made it in a recycled uh, Starbucks cup. Ah, mm, that's my daytime uh, imbibing. Uh, nighttime imbibing is spiked sparkling seltzer from Smiro. But, I like the Aldi coffee. It's two ninety-five. It comes out to like two cents a cup, two two and a half cents a cup of coffee. Uh, probably more when I use these these big uh, iced coffees. But even if you go Folgers or Maxwell House, believe it or not, I don't actually like the Folgers. I like the Aldi brand the best. Um, it's once you get used to it, you put a couple uh, scoops in your cup, hot water, cream. You know, some people use sugar. We don't. Um, it tastes like coffee. You get used to it. Maybe if you're one of those people that like to drink it um, cold brewed or if you like it black, I can understand you can taste the difference between the, the, the coffee formulas a lot better when you drink it black. But if you don't drink it black, just you're going to ruin it or you know doctor it up with uh, cream and other sweetener. Just uh, get the instant coffee. You save yourself a lot of money and. Uh, and a lot of waste too, because uh, especially for you environmentalists out there throwing those little plastic cups away, there's like billions of them. Those are probably clogging up the seas a lot more than plastic bags. Anyway, see you next week. I'm not sure if we're gonna have a new name for this video series or not, but uh, we gotta go low carb or carnivore because trying to tell the average normie out there about about this stuff is, uh, is a tough sell. So I'm gonna have to sell to the people that already know and they might be able to help out a little better with the low carb and carnivore type deal. So I hope I don't, uh, I had a small audience anyway, so this probably won't make a difference. Maybe my uh, reader viewership will go up. Have a nice week.